Two weeks ago, the U.S. government put the estimated size of the oil leak in the Gulf of Mexico at 5,000 barrels a day. But scientists and environmental groups are now saying the rate is closer to 25,000 to 80,000 barrels a day. They also criticized British Petroleum for refusing to use well-known scientific techniques that would give a more precise figure. A barrel is 42 gallons. The criticism escalated after the release of a video that showed a huge black plume of oil gushing from the broken well at a seemingly high rate. BP has repeatedly claimed that measuring the plume would be impossible. The figure of 5,000 barrels a day was hastily produced by government scientists in Seattle. It appears to have been calculated using a method that is specifically not recommended for major oil spills. Even that figure was released with public objections from BP, who initially insisted the leak was at about 1,000 barrels daily. Ian R. McDonald, an oceanographer for Florida State University who is an expert in the analysis of oil slicks, says he had made his own rough calculations using satellite imagery. He says they suggest that the leak could, quote, easily be four or five times the government estimate. He said, the government has a responsibility to get good numbers. If it's beyond their technical capability, the whole world is ready to help them. Scientists say that the size of the spill was directly related to the amount of damage it would do in the ocean and onshore, and that calculating it accurately was important for that reason. BP Senior Vice President Kent Wells told reporters recently, quote, there's just no way to measure it. Yet for decades, specialists have used a technique that is almost tailor-made for the problem. With undersea gear that resembles the ultrasound machines in medical offices, they measure the flow rate from hot water vents on the ocean floor. Scientists say that such equipment could be tuned to allow for accurate measurement of oil and gas flowing from the well.